Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, my little readers. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. It's English class, and today we have a new lesson. Before starting the lesson, let's do some actions. Who's gonna help me? I need your help. Put your hands in the air and shout. Yuppie! I am ready to learn. I am the best. I am the smartest. Of course, you are the best, everyone. Thank you for following. So, now let's start with our daily routine. So, what is the first thing that we usually do before starting our lesson? Mm, who's gonna say? Who's gonna help? Yay! We read the day and date. Excellent. So, who's gonna help me today to read the day and date? I'm gonna help you. Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. So, what day comes after Monday? Who's gonna help me to read the day and date? Correct! It's Tuesday, May 12, 2020. Good students and thank you for following and listening. Now I want you to get your grammar booklet because we're going to use it. Grab some pencils. Are you ready? So sit properly and listen carefully. So our lesson for today will be about phonics. Phonics. So what does the word phonics mean? We have learned before about phonics. So everyone, a phonic is a sound produced by a letter that does not sound like its letter name. And we have learned before that the vowels are special and they have two sounds. For example, letter A has two sounds, one of them short and one of them long, as well as letter I, letter E, O, and what else? Think about it, everyone. Brainstorm and use your background knowledge to remember the phonics that we have learned in the previous lessons. I know you can do it. You are the best and you are the smartest. And something else. Phonics will help you to read, write and speak properly. Wow, sounds great. So it's your turn now to help me. I need someone to read what's written over here. I need your help. I need someone to read what's written over here. I'm going to give you some time. Correct! Soft C and G. So when I say soft, 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 what is the first thing that will come to your mind? Do you remember, everyone, that in the science subject we have learned about the properties of materials and we described the play-doh, the yarn, the teddy bear and the pillows as soft objects. So when I say soft, I mean something smooth and not rough or hard. So when I say soft, C and soft, G, it means I'm gonna pronounce the letters in a soft and pleasant way. Okay, and now everyone, let's read our objectives together. 
So by the end of this lesson, you will be able to apply phonics when decoding words with the soft C and G. Also, you can blend and build words with the soft C and G. So everyone, on the two sides of the slide, you can see some pictures. And I want you to help me everyone to guess what is the word. Look at the picture and tell me what is the word. So let's go to the first one. The first one is... Who's going to help me? Correct! It's pen. Pencil. Pencil. Let's go to the second one, the second picture. Who's going to help me to say the word? Correct! It's face. Great! Let's go to the third one. Who's going to help me? What is it? Correct, it's C. Who will help me to spell the words? Okay. C, E, R, E, A, L. Cereal. Let's move to the other side. So what do you see everyone? Correct, it's giraffe. So let's write it together everyone. It's giraffe. So G I R A double F E giraffe. So let's move to this picture. What can you see everyone? Cage. Excellent. So let's write it together. C A G E. Well done. And here we go. Let's try to guess the last word or the last picture. What do you see everyone? Correct. Germ. Well done. Thank you everyone for helping and also following. You are amazing. Okay everyone, so let's practice some reading. I want you to listen carefully. We're going to read these words together. I'm going to give you some time. Look at the words and then let's read them together. So how many words can you read? Read by yourself, evaluate yourself, and check how many words can you read. So now, let's, let's read the words together. Listen carefully, everyone. Okay? Let's get started. Ice. Rain, ice, ice, ace, ace, mice, mice, slice, slice, trace, trace, range, range, cage. Cage, badge, badge, bulge, bulge, stage, stage, wage, wage, place, place, ledge, ledge, dance, dance, scent. Scent. 
Okay everyone, after reading the words together, we're gonna watch a video and we will try to get an idea about what does soft C and G mean. I want you to be focused and listen carefully. And here we go, there are two videos about the soft C and G. I want you to watch the videos everyone, click on the link and something else you can find the links in the description below it's easy for you just click and go directly to the videos thank you everyone for watching the videos and now i can explain the lesson of today so as you can see that letter c and g are special because they are so friendly so the other letters or some letters decided to share it sounds with them it sounds right thank you everyone for watching the videos now i can explain the lesson of today so everyone at the beginning of the lesson i said to you that we're going to learn about soft c and g these letters are soft, they are nice, and also special. That's why some letters decided to share its sounds with them. One of the letters is letter K. So letter K decided to share its sound with letter C. So letter C has two sounds, okay? The first one is S and the other one is K, 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 okay? So now letter C has two sounds. Letter C has two sounds. And so now let's go to letter G. So letter G also is nice and special. That's why letter J decided to share its sounds with letter G. So, now letter G has two sounds. G and J. G and J. So, letter C has two sounds. One of them soft, which is S. And one of them hard, which is k, 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 okay? And letter also G is special and it has two sounds. One of them soft, which is J, and one of them hard, which is G. So everyone, when to read the C as C? and when to read the C as K. Today, we will learn that. I want you to be focused because here is the rule and you need to pay attention. So everyone, look at these words over here and let's read the words together. Correct. It's cut, cut. The second one, cat, cat. The last one, can, can. So as you can see everyone, we pronounced the letter C as K, K. Right everyone? So, here is the rule. When letter C comes before letter U, A, and what else? O, also, you will read it as K. K. Okay? So, when you see these letters after 
letter C, you're gonna pronounce letter C as K. And now let's move to read these words together. I'm gonna give you some time. Let's read it. Eyes. Eyes. City. City. Bicycle. Bicycle. And here is the rule, everyone. When letter C comes before E, I, or Y, we are going to pronounce it as So this short story over here will help you to remember the rule and to put it in your mind. So Mama Sea Cat has six kittens named A, E, I, O, U and Y. So these are our vowels everyone. So when she sees A, O and U she hears k, 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 because they are kind kittens. So everyone, let's draw our small map. So we pronounce letter C as k when these letters come after letter C. So let's write them over here. A O U Okay, so look at, look at these examples as you can see Letter U comes after C So we pronounced letter C as K And also if you look at these two words you can see the same while in these examples we pronounced letter C as s soft s Y because letter E, Y and also I come after letter C. So let's do the map here. We pronounce letter S. C as s when letter E I and Y comes after s letter C. Okay, so <clears throat> this the map will help you to remember. Okay. And let's read what's written over here carefully. Mama cat, <coughs> or sorry, Mama sea cat has six kittens named A, E, I, O, U, and Y. When she sees A, O, and Y, she hears K, 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 because they are kind kittens. But when Mama C cat sees I, E, and Y, she hisses S because they are sweet kittens. Okay, everyone, so letter C has two sounds. Soft sound and hard sound. Also, letter G has the same Letter G has two sounds, one of them soft and one of them hard. So let's read what's written over here. Mama G giraffe has six small giraffes named A, E, I, O, U and Y. When she sees A, O and Y, she says G, G, G because they are 
good giraffes. And when Mama G giraffe sees I, E and Y, she hisses J, J, because they are joyful giraffes. So let me explain to you the rule everyone listen carefully so letter G has two sounds one of them soft and one of them hard so everyone let's read the words over here I need your help game golf gum so I want you to look at the letter or the letters that come after letter G in each word, okay? So as you can see, here letter A and letter O and letter what? sorry, letter U. So everyone, when these letters come after letter G, we're gonna pronounce the letter as G, G, okay? As you can see over here. So let me draw the map. So this is letter G, and we pronounce letter G as G when letter G comes before A, O, and you thank you for helping okay and now let's move to look at these pictures over here i need your help so let's read these words together giant gem when i say gum it's hard and when I say J, it's soft. So let's draw the map over here, our small map. So we pronounce letter G as G when these letters A, O and U come after letter G. So everyone, let's look at these words and read them together. The first one is giant, gem, gem. So as you can see everyone, the G here is soft, soft. Why? Because when letter I E and Y come after letter G. We are gonna pronounce the letter G as J, J, and it will be soft. Soft G. So, everyone, let's draw the map over here to remember the rule. We're gonna pronounce letter G as J, okay? When these letters come after letter G. The letters are I, E, and Y. Okay, everyone, before going to the booklet or the grammar booklet, let's try to um, say what we have learned in today's lesson. So everyone, we have learned that there are or letter C and letter G, okay, are the two letters are special because they have two sounds, one of them soft and one of them hard. So we can pronounce letter C as S and also as K. And also letter G, we can pronounce it as G and also as j, j okay everyone and i mentioned to you the rule and the rule is very important you need to follow it 
and to revise it very well okay everyone i want you now to open page 72 please write the day and date okay so the day is tuesday okay and the date is who's gonna help me May 12, 2020. Okay, so I want you everyone to write the, okay, to write the day and date. Okay, so read each word in the box, then write the words that belong in each list. Okay, soft G and soft C. Okay, so let's read the first one. Space. So we're going to put it here or over there. I'm going to give you some time to think. Okay, well done. We are going to write it over here. So, space. Well done. Okay, we're done with the word, with the first word. Let's move to the second word range correct we're gonna write it over here so let's write it together okay who can read the word trace excellent so we're gonna write it over here well done Three more words. Who can read this word? Cage. Excellent. So we're going to write it over here. Okay, we're done with the word cage. What comes next? So who's going to read it? Correct. It's badge. So we're going to write it over here. D, G, and then E. Okay, the last one is eyes. Eyes. It's soft, soft, or soft C. Okay, and now task number two read each sentence, circle the word with a soft C or soft C. G and write the word. So let's do it, everyone. Let's read them together. There will be a craft fair in the center of town. So the word is center. Correct. Here, as you can see, there is a hard C and we pronounced it as K craft we're looking for soft C number two I cooked a great fish with the ginger and carrots so where is the soft G excellent it's ginger well done number three we gladly collected all the coins in a giant container where is the soft g giant well done correct thank you for helping the fancy car cost thousands of dollars where is the soft C? Is it car or coast or fancy? So where is it everyone? Correct, it's fancy. Let's go to the last one. Dad stored the candles in the 
seller of the house. So, where is the soft C? Candle, k candle, the K here is hard. And the C in seller is soft. So, here's the soft C. Okay, here we go. So everyone, click the link below or copy it into your browser and play the soft C and G game. Don't miss the game. Have fun and thank you everyone for listening. You are amazing. Have a great day. See you in math class. Bye.